So welcome to part three and four of my timers tutorial for STM32 Duino. Um, I've decided to do these two together because um, it's quite hard to do part three without understanding um, how to find out which timers are associated which, with which um, pins. And that's where the STM32 device config tool comes in. Um, so I'm still using uh, my disco board. This is a uh, STM32 407 discovery board. Um, you'll notice this time that I've got uh, a couple of oscilloscope hooks up here um, and this is basically because today we're going to be looking at uh, doing complementary timers and basically where you've uh, got two signals, one's high whilst the other one's low. Um, we'll also be looking at introducing dead time to make sure that um, both aren't sort of on at the same time. So um, let me just switch over now. So this is my USB um, oscilloscope that it's hooked up to. And you can see um, basically the yellow's got a duty cycle of 50 and the blue um, starts off with a duty cycle of 50 but then the kind of dead time is inserted. Um, and that dead time kind of grows from like 10% up to uh, well, 0% to, 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 to 50. Um, so the code here, um, I've actually got, I'm going to show you how to do it two ways. Um, one's going to be using um, two channels on the same timer. And the second one is going to be using a single channel on the same timer. Um, so the second way is it's kind of like, um, it's called uh, like a complementary channel where um, basically the, the timer itself kind of understands what you want to do, understands that you want um, complementary, one, one being on, one being off at any time. And it also the timer can offer, offer you sort of dead time support as well. So it's probably uh, better than, you know, the second way I'm going to show is probably better than the first. But um, the, the, the first way you perhaps get a bit more flexibility with which, uh, which pins um, you can use. So um, from the top, you know, hardware timer. Um, this is part of sort of the Arduino library. Um, I've got a bit of uh, my serials on uh, port A3 and A2. Um, start of the serial. Uh, I'm, I want to use timer one. Uh, I've gone for 40,000 hertz as being, um, this is basically my PW, PWM. I'm doing 40,000 uh, periods a second. Um, kind of chose that because it looks quite good in the oscilloscope. There's no other reason for it than that. Um, so uh, what we're doing, we are setting uh, the first channel of this timer to be PWM1 and the second one to be PWM2. So if you remember PWM1 is where at the start of the, the timer's uh, period it's high. And then when it gets to the um, duty, which in this case is 50%, uh, it then goes low. Whereas PWM2 is, it starts low and at the duty it goes high. So what we see, we can see that the, um, the second one, um, P port E11, um, is going high a little bit after, a few percentage points after the first one. And, and thus we get this sort of, um, nice sort of space in between the yellow and the blue. So if we had um, a H-bridge or two, two uh, we had a high and low MOSFET, um, this dead time will make sure that the um, the current can't kind of go to right through um, and you get kind of get a short. Uh, so it's sort of a motor driver application. Um, and we've got this counter mode um, of center up down kind of important here otherwise what happens is um, I might as well show you uh, so like with the counter mode it kind of goes up and then it goes down um, but without it um, here we go it's just starting up now you can see it's kind of going up and then it's starting again so you get this period where um, red blue when blue goes off yellow is coming on so there's no dead time on the right so um, yeah, we, we pretty much want, um, we want to do that one. 
Um, and in the loop, this is basically the loop is where I'm, I'm changing the dead percentage and that's why it's moving here. Um, so I'm going to want to talk a bit about the um, STM32 um, sort of config tool. Um, essentially I've here I'm using timer one, um, channel one for port E9 and channel two for port E11. I uh, can't use any old pins with any old timer. Um, I've got to refer to other STM32 documents or um, I refer to this tool here, which um, I will show how to use here. This is STM32 cube IDE and a part of that has got this config tool in it. So I'm going to create a new project. Um, I will be choosing my discovery board. Just drag this over here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so I select my board. And in this case, I know it's a discovery board. Uh, that's the one, the 407. Uh, just, it's a bit smaller so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to click next. Right. And give it a name. STM 407. So this is kind of what you'd do if you'd want to be fully coding on it. But I don't want to fully code here. I just want to use the tool, um, which basically shows me the pins and it shows me the timers and how to set them up. So that took about 30 seconds to load. So um, I've got all the pins listed here and click on timers. Remember, we're trying to work out which pins will work um, with this example. So I click on timer one first and uh, channel one I want each of these channels can be used for different things so I, I want to use it in PWM generation for channel one and similarly for channel two um, I want uh, PWM generation for channel two um, so if I was coding in this tool then I'd probably go and um, configure some other things in here because it does code generation but all I'm really after is um, the, the name of the pins that were associated with, with this channel. So in this case it's uh, pin 9 um, for channel 1 and pin 11 for channel 2. Okay I'm going to um, pause for a bit. I'm going to move over to the other example. Okay, um, I'm back. I've loaded my second example. So I'm basically going to show you um, a different way, perhaps a better way of um, doing sort of n negated or complementary signals. So in the previous way, we were using two channels uh, on the same timer. This time we're only using one. So the code looks quite similar. Um, again, we're at sort of 40,000 hertz for the, the, the timer frequency. Um, we've set the mode for one and basically we set the channel of one and one and sort of told it twice that we want to be in PWM uh, one. Uh, you don't, I know it's a bit odd that this is PWM one um, but we'll later we'll, we'll basically uh, we're working here in sort of complementary channel mode here so essentially um, we're enabling timer one to have channel one and channel one n, which is the, the sort of negated channel set up like this. So, um, and we're also uh, calling this sort of set dead time. So, whereas before we were having to sort of manage the duty cycle, um, here uh, the time is kind of doing it for us. This dead time is a bit weird. You have to look at the the um, 
the sort of docks for this a bit because it starts you can see from the chart it kind of starts quite slow let me just zoom in a bit um it starts quite slow like i don't know maybe 80 nanoseconds and then counts up in one nanoseconds increments and then as you get a bit higher it starts jumping um in in bigger increments so it's kind of this dead time is, is like non-linear if you pick 255 you're picking the max time if you're picking zero you're picking the smallest time and it kind of jumps in in sort of steps up as it goes um so yeah this is this is another way of doing it um kind of gone through most of that uh again like in the loop um every 20 milliseconds we're increasing the dead time and we are setting the dead time so you can see that's why um the blue one is sort of slowly uh, well the blue and yellow you can see they're both kind of getting squeezed together so that's the difference between um the first option and the second option i guess i could have done a bit more coding on the first option to get it looking a bit more similar so just to finish this off um we're going to go back to uh the config tool the stm32 config tool to see how i got to this sort of port port e8 and port e9 so let me see if i can find the tool there it is yeah, so I don't need um, channel two anymore, so I'm going to disable this one. Um, for channel one, uh, we're going to change the mode slightly uh, from PWM generation channel one to this uh, channel one, channel one negate. So this is the um, complementary channel. As you can see at the bottom, that's telling me that I want to do this on channel one and timer one. I need to be using uh, pins or e8 and port e9 well that's the end of this timer tutorial i hope you um hope you find it useful i will um, make sure that they've all got sort of code snippets um in the description um, and thank you very much for your time cheers